Hi everyone, welcome back in my channel. Today I'm just uh, doing a, a very short video um, compared uh, to the other videos I do and uh, I just want to talk a bit about uh, a problem that uh, a lot of uh, Samsung laser printers have in uh, the paper pickup. So a lot of them pick up paper constantly and then jam and uh, others just uh, won't pick up the paper giving you a paper jam error so a lot of these printers have this problem so just as an example uh, CLP360, CLP365, CLX3305 and uh, SCX something so there are very a uh, big number of printers that are affected of uh, this problem and uh, uh, this problem is caused by this this is a solenoid this is a, a very simple mechanism electronically uh, you have to think about this as uh, an electronic actuator so uh, it functions that uh, if I apply current to this end 24 volts actually this will close down and if this will close down this latch will go down and uh, unlatch from a gear so it will permit the gear rotating and then the printer will be able to load the paper correctly but what happens if this stays down if this stays down the printer will try to load paper constantly and uh, if this will not go down at all the printer will never pick up paper so this is what happens in most of the printers and we'll demonstrate this to you um, by just connecting this to my um, bench power supply okay and uh, we'll show you what happens when I turn it on you know that uh, this just uh, goes down but what if uh, um, this is defective so you can see that there are two uh, some sort of foamy pads on both sides of uh, the top part of uh, the solenoid and these are uh, um, are there by uh, factory from Samsung because they are built to uh, reduce uh, uh, the noise because if I uh, remove those uh, this will create a little bit of noise so yeah it's something that uh, can be annoying for some users but uh, the problem with this is that uh, after some time they become uh, gooey and uh, they will um, block this part so uh, let me demonstrate this I turn it on and this will go down so I leave it on for a few seconds then watch what happens when I turn this off this stay closed and should not stay closed this should go like a up when I release the current through that and that happens also for the top one so you, ha you know um, you can see I have a little bit of a foam pad there so if it's this stays uh, a lot of time unactive like that look what happens if I try to tap down here with the same force you can see that that stays closed and now I'm tapping with the same amount of force and I'm moving it so what happens is that this becomes gooey and it sticks you can see it sticks so um, that is a problem and uh, uh, a problem uh, like this is responsible for the entire printer not working at all so <laughs> that is a very big problem and uh, uh, someone could say well just remove those pads and you are ready to go right well in some cases you can be lucky and uh, you can do this in some of the older printers you can actually do this and I have a video even an Italian one on this channel where I just do this repair and it works but uh, some of the newer printers like the C410 W or CLP 360 365 etc they apply current with a, a short amount of time so the amount of time that this goes uh, like so 
is so low that uh, if you don't have that pad here this will not actually close and the printer will not uh, um, will not work will not uh, load the paper correctly and so you need to replace it and uh, you can buy something like this on AliExpress, pay attention, these are only for the CLP360, 365 and CLX3305, not for the other printers. You can buy something like this and uh, you can see that it's a different revision. Uh, this is shiny and uh, this plastic is white instead of black and uh, the foam pads are a little bit different so maybe they changed uh, the material that uh, goes with it, within this. So maybe this will work uh, forever or anyway for a longer time than this but uh, the problem with this system is that uh, this is an issue since 2008 and actually Samsung didn't fix it didn't fix it because uh, you had a different kind of solenoid but they had the same problem you had the same problem with the other printers you know if I push down you see that that is stay closed. This this is not a working mechanism. This is a faulty mechanism, and this should not exist in uh, um, a printer brand like uh, Samsung or any other big brand of printers. And uh, this is an issue from uh, ten years ago, and it's still not fixed it. So that that is very bad, and uh, I think that is. Uh, all I have for you today so if you have any problem with your printer or um, anything like that I am a printer technician and uh, I will be happy to uh, answer all your questions and all your comments about printer repair questions so feel free to write comments uh, in my YouTube channel and uh, just have a good day so see you in the next video bye